guys, Rose here. Um, <laughs> sorry for not being able to see our faces. My husband's here. Um, we're gonna be doing a um, reading on him. I wanted to film the session so that you guys can kind of see what it's like to have an in-person session with an actual person here. So um, I don't know what he's gonna ask, but he did want me to use my Game of Thrones tarot, so. <laughs> I'm going to be pulling this deck out, um, and then we'll get started. Okay, so the whole purpose of this video is not only to give my husband a reading, Finally. Um, <laughs> but to also film kind of like an idea of, of those of you who are learning how to read for other people, kind of like what it's like, okay? So um, in any session that I have with a client in person or over the phone, um, I usually will make the space somewhat appealing so that when they sit down, they get the feel like they're in the mood to have a tarot reading done. So I placed a spread cloth on the table. It's something appealing. It's pretty. Um, I lit some candles for the, the essence of the whole room. Um, I have crystals on the table. I usually like to read with a certain crystal and I usually hold it or whatnot. Um, and then cleansing the room so or prior to this i lit sage i also have an incense going off into the background sometimes i'll have sprays and i'll spray the room down um and then we get started so i'm just gonna go ahead and do the reading like i would normally do a client reading um and then you guys can just kind of watch and enjoy okay so go ahead and just get comfortable okay. I want you to um, just get focused. So try to tune out everything else in your mind and um, be present in this moment and start to, it says this ice sprayed um, lavender. And just kind of get yourself um, in the zone and have that in your mind what you want to ask. Um, please feel free to interrupt me as I go. Um, is this your first time having a reading done? In a long time, yes. Okay. So the way I like to conduct readings is I like to have it as a dialogue. Um, I'm very open. You can touch my cards. You can ask me multiple questions as time allots. Um, if you have questions or you feel like you need to interrupt, please interrupt me or otherwise I will keep talking. <laughs> um, if you want to take a picture of your cards that I pull for you, you're more than welcome to. I also recommend if you want to take notes, you can do that as well. Um, and we will get started. So what are you, um, well, let's just kind of break the ice here. So how are you doing today? How are you feeling? I am okay. How are you? I'm feeling good. Loving the weather. Loving. <laughs> so, um, what brings you here today? What are we going to look at? I just want to look at the next 12 months. Okay. In general. So, we're going to kind of do kind of like a, a, a flip through of what's coming up. Right. Um, for the sake of the reading, I'm going to be leaving out major details. So, you kind of know what I'm going to be talking about anyway. Um, but for the sake of your confidentiality, I'm going to be leaving out names or like specifics. Okay. So, um, anything that you want to ask me later, just wait till the video is done. <laughs> and if you guys hear running in the background, Luna's very hyper. She's running around. Um, okay. So the decks I'm going to be using are obviously the Game of Thrones tarot. I'm going to be pulling some Oracle decks for your reading. And I also have a couple other tarot decks on standby. Sometimes, um, I don't want to pull multiple cards from one deck. I like to pull from two. So if you see me reaching for more, that's why. And let's look at the month ahead. We're going to look at the next 12 months. Or through the rest of the year, right? The rest of the year. Oh, next 12 months. Um, is it like it just generalized? It's going to be generalized. Okay. It's going to be very like, unless specifics pop up, which since I know you personally... Um, but for the sake of your confidentiality, I'm not going to kind of, I'm not going to give you like specific specifics. You know what I mean? Okay. So let's do the next, let's do the, the, let's do, um, we're in February. So let's do March, April, May, June. Okay. So first off, what I'm seeing is you have two root chakra cards that popped up. So for the next um, 
couple of months, being grounded is going to be one of the most important um, things that you're going to need to do energetically, at least from now to June. Um, grounding is making sure that you are feeling 100% stable. Um, when you're not feeling stable and you're not structured, if you don't have kind of like some sort of a routine or if you don't have some sort of a, um, when I, when I say routine, it's kind of like you get up in the morning and you know, you have certain things that you want to do, right? And you maintain that routine on a daily basis that kind of helps you get a little bit more structured. Makes sense. Um, the other thing that I'm seeing is with the month of March coming up. So we had the Knight of Swords pop up with the balance card. So that's what I'm saying. Um, this is telling me right off the bat, not very balanced, not very um, grounded. And since I know you, you know, personally, I will say that that's what I've been seeing you falling off of some of your, um, routines and so we want to kind of get you back into that point so for the month of march balance is going to be very important for you um the card shows a yin yang um and to me that's balance with the masculine and feminine energy so all of you your feminine meaning your probably your more emotional parts the parts of you that you don't always reveal to everybody um your softer parts and then your masculine energy which is obviously your you know your outer part and your being since you know you being more masculine um so we're gonna want to work on balancing for the month of march okay Getting yourself back into your routines, things that you were once doing before, things that you want to do again. Um, I'm showing the camera so that I don't forget that they're filming. <laughs> I'm filming. Um, I pulled the Knight of Swords for you. And so Knight of Swords energy is very impulsive. Okay. They're also very action oriented. This card doesn't really display it, but a Knight of Swords energy is somebody who is quick to take action. So to me, well, the action card has Ramsey. Yeah. Well, has Ramsey. <laughs> I don't know all the characters in the, the game of Thrones, <laughs> but he is very impulsive as we know from the show. So that tells me, um, action oriented, you need to start getting a move on. Okay. Um, and you and I both know what we're talking about, but you gotta, you gotta start being more proactive. Um, uh, be careful though with making impulsive decisions because you don't want to hurt yourself or you don't want to injure yourself you know before any big important dates that are coming up um so that's kind of what's popping up there we also have the shadow card that just popped out um in reverse so this to me is telling me um a little bit taking slow um facing okay because shadow is like facing you're facing fears or you're facing kind of like issues or parts of yourself that maybe you don't want to deal with at this moment. Um, it's in the reversal, which is kind of telling me putting a hold on any of that. I feel like this is more physicality that you need to focus on for March versus spiritual. Um, because this card is usually like a sign of spirituality or like facing certain fears. I feel like it's kind of in the back of your mind, that fear card that we're feeling here, but this isn't the time to worry about those things. Okay. We need to take action. Um, for the month of April, we have the determination card and we, it's in the solar plexus. Solar plexus is in your belly. Okay. So the root chakra is technically the base of your spine or your feet, which is why I say like when you're grounded, solar plexus is in your belly. This is the, um, your happiness, your gut instinct, your health. Okay. Um, and so whenever I see this for clients, to me, determination is, physicality this is what you're working on so the month of march going into april to me this is telling me to keep working towards your goal but also i feel like this is starting to change diet okay so i think that this is kind of saying um being determined to conquer certain goals maybe things that you are feeling a little bit weak on in that aspect and then also diet um because to me i see the fish and that makes me think of how you know eating more leaner foods starting to kind of shift your diet a bit to align with the physical changes that you're going to be taking okay um we have the four of swords in reversed so four of swords in reversed is usually um the opposite of feeling stable especially in the home life okay so for you and me with our um with our marriage and whatnot the home life it's kind of saying maybe we're going to start seeing some little maybe some little obstacles or we're going to start seeing some getting a little bit nervous for some upcoming changes that are going to be happening and maybe the month of april is going to show that's when a lot of this time is going to start getting real 
Okay. So for you guys who are watching, I can't I can't say specifically what's going on with him, but he knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> so sorry it's a little vague, but for the sake of my husband's um his his you know his life, I don't want to go into detail for all of everybody. <laughs> but he kind of knows what that means. So basically it's just showing to be real. Four of Swords to me is just kind of saying like we're in for big changes in the next few months. And it, I feel like Mar the month of April, I'm going to start to feel a little bit of pressure with that. So I just want to keep it real. Um, Four of Swords also, again, maintaining your, your balance, maintaining being grounded because a four is a grounded number. Um, and then also it's like in your home life. So making sure you're, you're you are dotting your I's and crossing your T's in all the areas that maybe we have some 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 stuff that we still need to clear up before, you know, this change happens. We have patience and planning. So patience and planning popped up for you. This is telling me um, for this month, for month of April, have be patient in some of the choices that you're making. Be patient in some of the plans, um, making sure we do have a plan and we have kind of like, um, an idea of what's going to be coming and what's going to happen and how we're going to do this and this and that, that's going to be very important, okay? And I feel like that's going to help us feel a little bit more stable and grounded in, in our marriage as well. In the month of May, we have abundance, which is a good thing. So good stuff might be happening. Some good things might be coming your way in the month of May. Um, abundance could be maybe, you know, you got some overtime money coming in. Um, maybe abundance can be in another form. You know, re you receiving abundance in another area in your life or yourself. Um, you know, good news. Maybe reaching good news or receiving good news. That could be the, the month that we get that email that we're waiting for. Um, so something happening in the abundance um, area. It's also red, which is the root chakra. So again, maintaining balance. And um, I just heard fertilizing the earth. So whatever that means, like to me, I take it as fertilizing the earth is kind of like just making sure that you're putting the, the proper nutrients in your and in, in everything that you are grounded in in this world. That's what I kind of heard. Page of coins. <laughs> so page of coins is usually um, an offering or receiving something. So this is definitely I feel is going to be the month where you're going to be getting your email. Um, so that email or receiving some sort of uh payout or you know what i mean like so something's coming good is coming your way this month okay um the other thing that this could say is page of coins is um the energy of i don't like <laughs> pages of coins can often mean pregnancy too so the fact that that comes up with abundance can show if we are actively trying that could be a good month too I'm just putting that out there for the sake of also the reading for people watching because, you know, sometimes those things pop up. So you just never know. Um, but I feel like, you know, I feel like this is going to be the month where we get the, um, you get their email. You know what I'm talking about. How do you feel so far? Good. Yeah. Do you have any questions of anything I pulled up? No. Okay. No moment. Feel free to ask or anything. We have awareness in reverse popping up. So this one is something I notice about you is that you do shut off intuition sometimes and you do catch those angel numbers a lot, right? So my husband, for you guys, so you guys know, my husband sees a lot of angel numbers while he drives. He's catching them all the time. Um, but he's also very, um, he could be kind of stubborn at times or he could be more like he wants to be in control and constant reminder of letting God take take the wheel you know <laughs> so I feel like with the awareness in, in reverse is just telling me um you're gonna want to you're, you're gonna be tempted to want to have control over the situation especially when the abundance coming through um but it's gonna be important that you do let God take over like you 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 trust that everything is happening as it's as it's meant to okay um this is um March April May for the month of June, you receive the third eye chakra visual visualization. So that kind of goes hand in hand with awareness in reverse. Going into the month of June, it's going to be very, very, very important for you to maintain um, intuitive focus, like trusting your gut. Okay, this is a month where um, 
the physicality, you've started it off. It was, we're going to start getting you back into your routines. But the month of June is trusting your gut. This is where your faith is going to be coming in strong. And I see that happening because the month of June is going to be a big, it's going to be a big month. So this is where you're going to have to put a lot of faith in. Okay. We have strength in reversed. Makes sense. So the strength card in reversed is revealing that you are going to struggle. You're going to struggle. You're going to feel a little bit nervous. You're going to be, your confidence is going to be all over the place. You're probably going to start wondering, is this going to be possible? Can I do this? Am I going to succeed? That's where you have to visualize yourself succeeding. You have to change your point of focus, okay? So visualizing you obtaining the goal that you have already. It's like you already have it. You have to get yourself in that mindset um, because right now the strength card in reverse kind of reveals you um, will have doubts and you will be, you know, your your confidence is going to be, um, you know, shaken. shaken yeah. <laughs> so trusting, trusting God in the divine and then mental conflict popped out. So mental conflict in reverse is just kind of saying it's going to, you're going to be, it's all in your head. Okay. You are your own worst critic, right? You, it's you in your mind. Can you kind of see like with the image? Mm -hmm. So it's just kind of like he is his own worst critic. He's putting his own worst thoughts into his mind. He's the creator of his self-doubt, okay? So June is going to be rough, but it makes sense for what's going to be happening. So, okay. How do you feel so far? Good? Good. Okay. So let me push these cards. What's up? Uh, you want to take a picture of them? Sure. You go in depth later. <laughs> go ahead. You got it? Got it. Okay. So I'm going to push these over so I don't confuse myself. And then let's start with um, July. July is the big month. July, August, September, October. You have totally different energy now. I could totally see it. November, December. Okay. So, if you guys can kind of see on the table, <clears throat> the energy of his cards is so different because he's going into a big change. And so what I'm seeing is less red, obviously. There's only the one red at the end of the year, but it's a lot of willpower. It's a lot of sacral chakra energy. It's a lot of um, creative energy. And then we have communication and the crown. So um, do different, you're gonna be dealing with different energies when you're up doing your thing. <laughs> Almost said it. <laughs> okay. So for the month of July, we have inner strength. Okay. Look at this card. It looks, it's amazing. So you have, um, this, it looks like a statue of a being and they're like struck with lightning and it's like feeding into their veins, right? Your inner strength is popping out in the month of July. Okay. This is where I feel. I just, I just kind of heard utilizing what you don't have. So what you feel like you don't have it's going to come out, okay? Um, so I kind of see that as like he's going to be really tapping into stuff that he didn't realize he had until he had to be put in that situation. So where's my... Oh, <laughs> I'm like, where's my deck? <laughs> okay, we have the seven of coins in reversed. So the seven of coins is usually a card of not really sure what to do with what you've already done. Um, but when it's in the reverse, you are in the mode. You are going to be in the zone. Okay. Seven of coins is usually a card of kind of like being bored um, with your life or bored with what you've been doing. It's like the same thing over and over. But I pulled it in the reverse, which I take the opposite meaning, which is meaning you're focused. You're in the zone. You're doing what you need to do. It's purpose. Okay. I keep getting mixed, mixed up with my decks. Um, and then I also see this as you're not going to be bored. You're not going to have time to be bored. Okay. Oh, so two cards pulled out. 
came out. Wisdom in reverse and then triumph and success in reverse. This is telling me to one, you're going to have to be humble, okay? Being humble. If you maintain that focus of I'm going to succeed in doing this, you will maintain that mentality, but don't let it get in over your head, okay? Um, don't let the ego overtake. And then the wisdom card in reverse. You have to go into this even though you think you know it or you may know the answers, you have to go into it as I'm eager and open to learn. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So put the ego away. All right. <clears throat> For the month of August, we have the seven of spears. So the seven of spears, this is when shit's going to get rough. Okay. So seven of swords is usually... Um, or spears is usually about fighting off people who are giving you trouble. This one wants to come out too, so I'm going to pull it. This is fighting off people who are giving you trouble. Um, you're going to be bombarded. You know, you're going to be, you're going to be dealing with your thing, but I feel like as long as you maintain that humbled, you know, I'm open to learn, teach me a new way. Let me get rid of my own mindset. I think you're going to be okay. The truth card came out with the throat chakra. Throat chakra is all about communication. So you're going to be learning a whole new set of way of thinking, a whole new way of being. They're going to be transforming your your yourself, okay? Your mind, you who you are. You as a person, it's like you're now being molded again, okay? So don't fight it. Because seven, seven of spears is like fight it. Don't fight it, okay? Be open to it. This one also wanted to come out, and this is the Ten of Cups in reverse. So Ten of Cups usually is pride, okay? Ten of Cups is having everything that you want. You feel good. It's in reverse. So it's going to take, it's going to break you. Most likely the month of August, if I'm going to be honest, is going to be hard for you. It's going to be rough, okay? Emotionally, it'll break you. Um, but I feel like they need to do that to you for you to, turn, to change, okay? So it's unnecessary. <laughs> Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay. So then we have partnerships and alliances. Utilizing the partnerships, the friendships that you make when you're there. Utilizing the partnership and alliance that you have with, with me. Knowing that you have good support systems. Okay. And, and allowing other people to help you. And also keeping in mind that they're only helping you. Okay. They're not just tearing you down. They're doing it for a reason. Mm -hmm. And then we have the solar plexus chakra in reversed. This I just heard pride. So solar plexus is all about your um, your gut, your happiness vibe. If you have too much of this, it's like you you kind of look at everything as, oh, it's perfect, you know, naive and this and that. You know what I mean? Don't let pride swallow you up. So it's in the reverse. It's also kind of telling me um, the, the homesick feeling I feel might settle in in the month of August um, because your, your gut, your belly is going to be turned all upside down. So maybe not have feeling so great, that kind of thing health wise. Um, just kind of feeling a little bit, uh, you're just, you're all, you're being broken apart so that they could put you back together in the form that they need you to be. Okay. We have the month of, um, June, this was June, right? Mm -hmm. No, this is July, this August, August, September. Yeah. <laughs> September is universal light. Okay, so universal light, when you, I'm going to, I feel like I need to ask you this. So when you see this, what do you think? You see your purpose. You see what's going on. Like, okay, this is it's what like I have the, to do. Like the light, the light at the end of the tunnel, you could say. Kind okay. of, yeah. That's how I was seeing it too. So the light at the end of the tunnel, everything's going to make sense. Mm -hmm. So what I kind of see is like that initial burst of like life brought back into you after a, a month, a, mar a rough month. Um, the truth being placed in front of you, you know, you're going to be seeing things. I feel like this is kind of saying you're going to have that reawakening moment. Oh, this is why I waited so long. This is why this happened. This is why this happened. I feel like you're going to have a lot of aha epiphany moments in the month of September. Okay. You're going to be like two months in, you're going to start feeling more like you're making routine. You have habits. You know what I mean? We have the Eight of Coins in reversed. Eight of Coins is a card of hard work and being dedicated, okay? In the reversal, it's going to take its time, okay? They're going to be chipping away at you. Don't get lazy. Don't try to find shortcuts, okay? The Five of Cups came up in reversed. Humbleness, 
This is usually about being humbled and regrets and whatnot. In the reverse, you're going to see, you're going to get your answers. You, you're probably like this epiphany moment we're talking about. A lot of the stuff that you, um, like regrets you may have had, maybe thinking like, oh, I wish I would have done this earlier, blah, 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 blah. You're going to get a lot of answers for those open-ended questions. So I feel like the five of cups in reverse is saying no more regrets. Okay. And then we have the emperor in reverse. <laughs> So there's going to be a certain somebody who's going to have a, a very huge impact on you and probably negatively at first. You may not like this individual. Um, emperor energy is boss energy, but in the reverse is telling me, you know, you may not agree or like this individual, but you're going to eventually learn from them. Okay. And then I also see this as in the form of you for the emperor. You're used to being the boss. Luna. <laughs> you're used to being the boss right in your role right now in your job and so I feel like this emperor card is kind of saying you're not gonna be in that role anymore you're gonna have to be starting all over again being broken in okay so knowing your place learning who you who or where what you are emotional loss in reverse so that's a good thing emotional loss in reverse is telling me it's the opposite okay what happens in the month of August being the hard month I see it as, the breaking part, your emotional loss is saying everything's going to start making sense emotionally wise. You're going to start feeling better. Um, you're going to kind of receive answers for some of those open-ended questions that you've been having. Okay. Then we have October. This is the crown chakra spiritual awakening. So remember I was just talking about having that epiphany moment. Okay. This is you in a new light okay so anytime spiritual awakenings happen you are you can see life and reasons for things in a whole new form okay we have the three of coins in reversed three of coins is the process of needing to be rebuilt or to rebuild but to me in the reverse you've already been broken so now you are there there you are a whole new version so who you were when he left is not going to be who you are by October. Yeah. You're going to be a whole different person, which is a good thing. You need to be. Right. But these spiritual awakenings, these epiphanies that you're going to be having is going to help build your new structure. Pull that one. Just so I don't waste time. Okay. Um... How do you feel so far? Good? <laughs> so the transformation card came up. So this is exactly what we were talking about. Month of October, big phase for you. Okay? Huge transformation. Seeing things for a new from a new set of eyes, new perspectives. I would say it goes hand in hand with September and October. There's gonna be some big shifts in you. Okay? Big. Um, November, we have personal power which is again, sacral chakra. This is sacral chakra is in your abdomen area. It's your, where you create your creation. Okay. Um, personal power, what you do as you come out of this awakening is going to be a stronger version of yourself. Do you see that? Okay. We pulled the knight of Spear, spears, knight of spears and reversed. So the knight of wands is usually a card of being very impulsive, um, charismatic, they're womanizers, they're like talkers, that kind of thing. So obviously, you know, we see, who, what is his name? Um, what's his name? Jamie. Jamie Lannister. So womanizer, right? Like just, you know, a, 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 an all around good person. They like to talk, people like to talk with them, they joke around, blah, blah, blah. And the reverse is more serious, like, okay? So, who you are personality wise like how i know you you are kind of kind of like a genie okay like your your personality can somewhat be that way jokester like you know you like to get along this and that but in the reverse it's going to be full-blown seriousness your personal power like your personality is going to be switching up um it's not going to be wise with you don't be horsing around you know what i mean like you know at times you got to keep that straight face like be serious kind of a demeanor um and fire energy too has a tendency to be quite impulsive and just too much. So make sure you maintain composure. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. um, financial material changes. Okay. So in the new, in um, the November month, 
seeing the financial material changes. This could be at the home end on my end, okay? We might be seeing some big shifts. We might be seeing some big, you know, payouts, okay? Or um, the ability to take things on another level. I'm noticing the two rings on the fingers. That's kind of, I never really noticed it that much before in the card. But to me, that's saying you and I were doing this together as a team. So what you're doing on your end and what I'm doing on my end, there's gonna be um, a lot of big changes financially for us, material-wise, okay? And then for the month of December, we have family. And we, <laughs> the little monkeys. So we have the family card and it's also red, which is the, the grounded being, you know, the root chakra. So you're grounded, your family. Me, obviously, the month of December, you get some time to come home, spend with family to see things. Maybe there will be a baby on the way, you never know. I'm just saying. <laughs> And then we have the four of coins in reversed. Four of coins is usually keeping things that are very, very sentimental to you, close to you, okay? So you may be bombarded with questions from family. Let's say you come home to visit, right? You may be bombarded. What's going on? What's going on over there? Da, 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 da. You're not going to be wanting to, to talk about it. You're going to want to be like leaving that phase of your life there and then the new phase with your family, with your family. So separating the two. Um, so you may be open a little bit about what you've been experiencing, but for the most part, you're going to be like, I want to leave that, that there. And here I am here to be in the moment with you, but I need to, as soon as I'm ready to go back, I got to close it off here and I got to go do my own things. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Okay. Trapped in fear. So that is kind of telling me, trapped in fear is kind of saying, maybe that's why the card is like making me think of it as shutting off um, one life to the other. Because if you allow yourself to blend the two at the time right now, while you're still like, you know, in, in that training mode, you might go back with some, some fear or might put some of like, oh, I don't want to go back or the opposite. You never know. Okay. So those are like a little bit of emotional things that we might be seeing popping up in the month of December. So depending on how your visit goes, it could bring that. So that's just kind of saying like giving you an idea like to not be so trapped in fear or allowing your fears to get the better of you. It might be best that you do just kind of leave one place in one place and the other in the other. Don't blend the two yet. Okay. How do you feel? Yeah. Do you have any questions? What about... January and February. That's, oh, you want January and February yeah, too? That's a whole year. Oh, that's, that's right. <laughs> Ew. Okay, let's do January and February. my money broke. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see. January. February. Ooh. Okay. So January, we're seeing the throat chakra with the listening card. So January, um, it's a brand new year, okay? Listening, your your ability to listen is going to be so much better than what it is right now. Are good for you? Just, <laughs> I think that might be better for me. <laughs> um, but it's also saying it's just kind of being aware, okay? Listening to your instructions, listening to, you know, what you're learning, being aware, more observant around you, okay? Not just utilizing your sight, but your hearing. What are you hearing around you? And being able to shut stuff off and and, and tune in and to, or tune out when you need to, I feel is kind of like what's that, what that's saying. We have the two of swords in reverse. So definitely... I'm only saying this because I love you, but do you do have tendencies of not listening? Okay, you get what you're talking about. You're in, <laughs> you he gets in stubborn mode. Okay, my little Taurus. But and so the, the two of swords is usually about being blocked, right? You don't want to listen. I don't want to pay attention. No, I know what's right. Well, it's in reverse, which is telling me in order to be, um, in order to be successful or you know, be good at what you're doing, you have to unblock yourself, okay? So be willing to listen and learn, be willing to take advice, be willing to, you know, blah, 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 blah. Unblock yourself, don't be, don't be, um, what's the word? Don't be picky. I don't know if that's the right word I was gonna use, but you know what I mean, don't be stubborn. <laughs> 
Um, we have the positive movement forward in reversed. And we have the harmony in reversed. So this has been a long time coming. I'm going to say the new year might be rough. It might be hard, at least on my point. Okay. So the harmony and the positive movement forward, we might be seeing some, you know, a little bit of some delays or just some frustrations. It's, it's, it's a long road, but we're going to have to get through this, right? Reversals, I also usually read in timelines of taking time. It's a slow process, okay? So it's been a grueling few months. Um, at that point, I feel like this is saying don't listen to me, okay? I'm all, Honestly, I'm going to intuitively i feel like this is don't listen to me like the listening card the blockedness the disharmony here that you see with the relationship i feel like if i'm starting to get in your ear if i'm getting frustrated about whatever sometimes you probably will have to tune me out so this probably is my message to see for myself if i'm going to be honest with myself <laughs> and then we have the month of february which is the um angels and masters i like to see all the chakras are aligned feeling really damn good, put together all in a good phase, and all, all good energy right there. Um, I feel like for you, you know what I just realized? All the cards, all the tarot cards came out in reversed because the car, the deck is upside down. I thought I had reversals in the deck, so but I still trust the way I read it. I was just thinking that right now. I'm like, how come all my tarot cards are reversed? So we have the Page of Cups. Page of Cups energy is all about receiving a message, okay? It's all about um, you're hearing something, you receive something. It's um, being open to a message or being open to... You're, you're the student and you're being, you're being offered, okay? So how do I interpret that? Because it's kind of hard to interpret that in this sense. I feel like it's kind of saying you receiving the, the prize, okay, but you're still in learner mm -hmm. mode because a page is a student. Right. It's the youngest in the courts. Mm -hmm. So even though you've passed, or even though let's say if this goes in the line of you pass, you ha you're still, you have to maintain humbleness. Of you can't course. let it get to you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then the intuition card popped up, you know, so utilizing your faith, your intuition, utilizing that strength, utilizing, um, making decisions based on what feels good for you intuitively, not listening to your, the ego, not listening to what other people are telling you to do. It's, you got to trust it's between you, you kind of like between you and God right now, you know, um, especially when certain opportunities arise. Okay. Um, kind of pisses me off that I was reading these like, in somewhat reversals, but I feel like the way I read them were necessary. So I trust that everything happens for a reason. But it kind of pisses me off that I didn't realize that. Should I get another free one? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I trust, I honestly, I trust that things are read for a reason. So there's a reason why I saw these all in the reverse. And so if we look at it as a whole, for all of these, you know, all of the things to come up in reverse like that for you, it's just saying take it slow mm -hmm. okay because reversals like i said in time frame i look at it as taking it slow take the process slow and you know what i mean don't rush through it don't worry about the outcome you got to take it day by day month by month okay there's going to be a lot of big transformation for you especially i feel during the months of september and november september and october that's gonna be huge for you um i feel like january is going to be a rough patch for us um, I feel like also it's interesting and you guys probably noticed it, but the chakra cards, he got every chakra except the heart, the green one. You got the crown, you got the solar plexus, the sacral, you got the root, you got the throat and the third eye. You didn't get the heart. So do you know what that kind of tells me? Mm -hmm. The heart, not having the heart, the heart is how you love. That's your empathy. That's your that's you and me, right? I feel like that wasn't involved in any of this for this next this next year because you're going to be doing things physical. You're going to be doing things it you I am not a part of this like process with you. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. So kind of like just as you leave me behind for this time, you have to leave all of that. So I feel like that's why it's kind of interesting like how the heart chakra didn't come up. 
So you don't have, you won't have time or energy to focus on your heart, your empathy, your, your emotions, your feelings, because you're going to be so involved doing everything else. You have a hell of a lot of sacral and, and, um, your belly. So your creative, okay. Your, your motivation, your physicality, your balance are huge. Um, you have a couple of throats, your communication, but I feel like it's in terms of listening, not you verbalizing. Okay. So you're the listener, you're the learner. And then this huge crown chakra, like this huge transformation, um, probably going to be having your own connection with God during this time and having a lot of answers coming to you. So a lot of big stuff, babe, a lot of good stuff. Um, you know, will you be successful based on the cards? It does look like it, but I don't want to read like that because I don't, I don't know, you know, mm -hmm. it's just whatever's meant to be. But in this process, this year, it's, you're going to come out of it with something regardless, you know, whether it's just the transformation or it's the, the prize at the end of what you're waiting for, you know, either way. But you're going to learn something and you're going to be a whole different version of yourself. So big changes, bubs. So how do you feel? Good. Yeah. So I get a free one because he didn't. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you guys for tuning in. I'm sorry for the super long video. That was a 40 minute reading, by the way. Oh, yeah. And so <laughs> this is just to give you guys an idea of how I do my client readings in person sessions. Um, thank you for tuning in. If you have any questions, leave comments and I will get back to you as soon as I can. Buy my lives. Oh, and also, if you want to book a reading with me, click the link below. Um, visit my website. Check me out. And yeah, I will talk to you guys soon. Good Bye. Stuff. <laughs>